Hello everyone, we're here in picturesque Mount Tremblant, Quebec for our annual Industry Predictions Roundtable, where we host uh, top partners from the National Capital Region. This year, the big concern is the poor economy and if there's going to be more acquisitions of uh, channel partners, along with virtualization and cloud computing opportunities, and if partner-to-partner -partner collaboration will lead to more success in a poor economy. When we talked about server virtualization, to me, which is almost a thing of the past, because we've, we've, we've been a VMware partner since 2003, mm -hmm. and we've, I don't, in the last year, out of 10 servers, I think, that we sold, um, maybe two were not VMware based or virtualized. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So for us, it's pretty much a, a, a done thing. The next wave of virtualization is desktop virtualization, applications and, and it's going to be big. Yeah. I've asked all of my sales rep to go back and revisit where are you on my 360 degree plan in this particular client. Okay, here's what I want you to work on, here's one, okay, next client, okay, where is he on my 360 degree plan, and go in there and it's a lot easier to sell to an existing client than it is to, to develop a whole new one. Very true. And you'd be surprised when you sit down with the client and you actually go over your whole portfolio, how much of what you actually have they're actually doing and they may not even know you're doing it. Yeah. Having the right people go in mm -hmm. there and, you know, bring that forward uh, is... Uh, That's important. the best way to grow our revenues, that's for sure. It's that. I think the Tech Select partner community is uh, the best one out there. Um, they are much considered a, a family as opposed to everybody being competitors. So um, being part of this community allows us to have trust with each, with, right. with each other. And um, if I don't have the Cisco expertise, for example, um, and it costs a lot to go get somebody to get certified and so forth, a lot of resources. So I can control my costs uh, by not doing that, but I'll, I'll leverage JJ's guys that are Cisco certified. So I'll pay his price and I'll make sure that I charge accordingly to my clients. But this allows me a couple of things. Number one, I have the resources available. They're trusted resources. And now, before when I could say I didn't have a guy and they went out and got another competitor, mm -hmm. well I was allowing somebody else into my den. And maybe mm -hmm. they're gonna take that account away from me. Now I own that account even more. Because the guy's gonna call me even for stuff that I don't have certified guy, but he calls me and I get the Cisco yeah. guy there. Yeah. JJ does the same thing with me with SonicWall. Call, Eric call does it with SonicWall. Sonic yeah. uh, Ernie's in Ottawa and I'm in Montreal. Yeah. Well, I do work for Ernie in Montreal. You know, uh, Ernie and I are both SonicWall Gold Partners and I do his work in Montreal and he'll do my work in Ottawa. And we like, we do it when we, when we complement the offering. It's nice to partner, but sometimes it gets tricky when you all have the same offering because then there's always the, the, the kind of confidence is, is, a, is a tricky thing, but we see it with manufacturers as well. Now HP and IBM, we're a subcontractor of IBM, a big subcontractor of IBM, because we complement what they already do. Right. So at the end of the day, we see it with the, and then it's, it's both ways. We help IBM in some end and they help us out. Same thing with HP, we see it with consulting firm, like different uh, CGI, we see, we do, but, but it's important in a specific opportunity to team with somebody that's gonna complement they complement each other. It's, it's a great vehicle for uh, for uh, creating those relationships so you don't have to have those contracts. So anytime you can have something that's going to make business easier or life easier for you to get, you know, to service your client, I think it's always a good thing. So uh, I have already purchased a, uh, a competitor um, and I will uh, continue to uh, grow that way. Uh, as it is a great opportunity to buy an existing client base as a, to grow organically uh, one customer at a time. Um, if it presents itself uh, and the deal is right, then it's a, it's a great way. I've done it once and I would definitely do it again. Well, uh, for sure virtualization will keep uh, being widely adopted in, in the market. and. Um, like I was saying a few minutes earlier, virtual, uh, virtualization of the computer room is pretty much a, an accepted um, uh, fact in the market. Now the next trend will be virtualization of the desktop, which will be the biggest thing that will hit the, uh, I think, the IT industry in the following years because um, 
uh, changing their stops for upgrading to the next Windows 7. Uh, we all pretty much agree that Vista was pretty much skipped by the uh, major uh, part of the industry. Um, so the next upgrade will probably force everybody to change their entire desktop uh, base and that will also trigger uh, virtualization to centralize those desktop images in the server room. So that will be a big thing. We, uh, we have clients from uh, Montreal through to Vancouver and I don't think if we didn't have those relationships we'd never be able to, uh, to manage those pieces. So it does help us uh, expand our market, it helps us manage our clients and work with our clients and uh, create other opportunities. As you can see there are very many pointed opinions about the economy, uh, virtualization and cloud computing business along with partner-to-partner -partner collaboration. For CDN, I'm Paul Dunning-Bledo from Mount Tromblois, Quebec.